How you doing today? This is Brother Floyd, and I want to talk to you about strange fire. And what we see that is in Leviticus chapter 10 and 1. And it says that now Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took their respective fire pans and after putting fire in them, placed incense on it and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. So the question is, how does what happened to Nadab and Abihu apply to us today? You know, we know that um, from chapter nine, Leviticus chapter nine, that the Lord had the Lord came, the Lord had manifested His presence in in a pillar of fire, and and um, and people were glorifying. And in reverence, but they they put fire on their fire stick and attempted to introduce the fire into the fire that came down from heaven. Now, once again, how does this apply to us today? Well, we have people teaching things that they should not be teaching. Is essentially what it is. You know, you know, the anointing, the Lord has already anointed. And the fire and, and, you know, he's already placed inside of us the Holy Spirit. And so, therefore, there is no need to place inside of you a new anointing. There is no need to to prick up, um, to make, to, to introduce into you strange teaching that will cause you to go astray. Because what we see here is that what he, what he commanded Moses was saying that, you know, I will be sanctified by those who come near me. So... If we're gonna teach, if we're gonna preach and teach uh, what uh, does say the Lord, then we must preach and teach truth. We cannot we cannot appeal to men of high positions. We cannot appeal to the ideas of men, and you know, and try to please and try to please the world. But we're to be um, separate from the world. We're we're supposed to we're supposed to be, uh, you know, the salt and the light. The, you know, the light of the world, you know, so that way when people see us, they glorify God. But what we're doing in the church system is we're bringing in the principles of the world and introducing them into the body of Christ, such as <clears throat> we were preaching about materialism. We're telling people that, oh, uh, you know, you know, the blessings of God is with uh, is if you have like a big old house and you got to have this type of car, you know, well, you can have cars and these things in the world, these things uh, show that a person is successful and that they manage their credit well. But the Bible also says that that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination of God. So therefore, just because you have cars and a, and a house and you feel like you're doing the Lord's will does not mean that does not mean that the Lord is pleased with that, because those those material things never never uh, th those material things don't actually show if you're truly best or not. Because Jesus even said, "Don't store for yourself treasures on earth, but treasures in heaven, where moth and rust does not destroy." So, you know, the strength once again, strange fire. You know, they're introducing to themselves into the body of Christ strange teaching. We even have in the Christian networks uh, ministers go up and they blow. You know, in a way to try to replicate the Shekinah glory that will come down and dwell in the innermost sanctums, they will be in there blow, uh, have a fog machine um, blowing smoke to, to signify the fall of the Holy Spirit. They have what they what they uh, gold gold dust falling from sprinkles or what a gold dust falling from heaven. All these different movements that are coming. What we need. Is to hold the name of the Lord in high reverence. We need to show respect unto the Lord. We need to draw, we need to come near to the Lord with humbleness of heart and not be lifted up in pride. And not to say, well, let's let's bring into the uh, you know, let's bring into the into the body of Christ our teaching. Like you have men with their psychological degrees and they want to bring into you, oh, let's let's teach about sex in the pulpit. There's not there's another place for that. But the pulpit, where we come to a minister, where the minister is supposed to be ministering by the Holy Spirit. You're telling me that you're going to sit up there and talk about sex? Talk about how to please your wife in the flesh when 
when we should be, she should be uh, what the Bible calls the daughters of Sarah, or what Peter puts it that way, where she's supposed to be humble and she's supposed to uh, respect the husband. Just as Sarah called her husband Lord, she's supposed to call her husband Lord. That she's supposed to have, carry on that same type of spirit, and which that spirit, which is the spirit that's in her, is of the Lord. So therefore, it is pleasing to Him. But we don't we don't do these things. We want to we want to appeal, we want to appeal to the flesh, and appeal to the psychological will, and appeal to our own egos, rather than appeal to God. But we should, but those who introduce into the body of Christ the strange fire will pay the penalty for that error, just as these two sons of Aaron paid the penalty for their error, because the Lord says, I will be sanctified by those who come near me. Once again, this is Brother Floyd, and we endeavor to, I endeavor to continue to speak on the scriptures and to make more videos if 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 possible and you know let's pray for each other and and let's continue continue in the faith god bless you have a good day